Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing another Batman Arkham Knight video. And today, what we're going to be doing is breaking down the latest All Who Follow You trailer for Batman Arkham Knight. This is by far the best trailer that we've gotten for Batman Arkham Knight. It reveals so many new characters to the story of Batman Arkham Knight, as well as a new mechanic that are going to make fans go crazy. Now, I need to clear some things up about that new mechanic, but we'll get to that later on in the breakdown. Rated M for Mature, been so supportive of this since the day it was announced. It's what this game needs, especially through this trailer. You can see the dark tone that it's going to have. We're going to get a nice, beautiful shot of the city here. Is Jim Gordon on the rooftop of the GCPD, shining the bat signal into the sky, looking for Batman. What an incredible shot that we got here of the city. If this is all that we get to free roam in, oh my goodness, I am just beyond happy like I cannot wait to just be gliding through the city using the Batmobile to get from one place to another it's just gonna be incredible nice new look at Two-Face now he doesn't look at all different than he did in Arkham City but you can just see the extensive amount of detail on his character design through the new graphics and the fact that this is a next-gen PC only game now we get a nice little Easter egg if you look to the left there that says Ferris Mall. This is a reference to the character Carol Ferris who is a part of the Green Lantern universe. So uh, yeah, a nice little reference to that character showing that those characters exist in this universe. The people of Gotham need you. Nice little quote from Alfred there. Now originally I thought that this was the Arkham Knight but as you can see here from this shot it's not. Uh, who this is is probably some sort of new enemy type or maybe this is something a part of the scarecrow's fear toxin as you're going to see what's going on to batman here as you can see he's definitely under the influence of the fear toxin he's almost going crazy on the floor here like this looks intense and brutal and almost terrifying look at the way scarecrow's just standing over batman and batman's just trembling on his back rolling around terrified and also a nice little Easter egg there, if I can go back one second, to uh, Richard Sionis, who is the Black Mask, of course. And then Batman on his knees there, like, this is going to be crazy. To all who follow you. Nice shot of Jim Gordon, Aaron Cash, Oracle, and Alfred. Let's go back there for a second, right before we get to Eminem, I mean uh, Robin. So there's Alfred, he's alive! He's alive. It's Alfred. Yes. Uh, I know a lot of people, including myself, were previously speculating that he might have died before Batman Arkham Knight starts because we hadn't heard from him or seen him in any way before now. So it's really good to see Alfred and in the Batcave getting the new suit ready. This looks so badass. I hope we get to go into the Batcave similarly to how we did in Batman Arkham Origins where you can kind of go in there maybe if you beat in the game you get to change your suits there and stuff like that so that would be really cool then we get a nice shot there actually if I can go back a second again of uh, Lucius Fox yes he's waiting on Wayne Tower probably to deliver a new gadget that new gadget to Batman um, now if you read the Arkham Knight prequel comics you will know that Lucius Fox actually does know that Bruce Wayne is Batman uh, and this is his first appearance in the Arkham games but uh, he's definitely not new to the Arkham verse as he's been pretty prominent in the prequel comics then there it is it's Eminem I mean uh, it's uh, Robin he looks so badass all jokes aside he looks great I am loving the design of Robin the shaved head does look a little bit weird he kinda looks a little like old but, you know, it is what it is. I'm liking the overall armor design. Uh, we've seen it before, but seeing it in-game, it looks great. Catwoman, looking great as always. And then Nightwing, loving his design. Batman, probably this scene here is him waking up from that fear toxin or that, uh, whatever, that fear trip that he was under earlier on in the trailer. And this is where everything gets crazy. So first of all, there's the Flying Grayson poster in the background. And here, I'm going to clear things up. First of all, dual play. It is a new mechanic in Batman Arkham Knight 
that allows you to switch seamlessly between characters like Robin, Nightwing, and Catwoman, Catwoman in free flow combat and Predator scenarios. This does not mean co-op. There is no online in Batman Arkham Knight. This is just a single player experience. You yourself will be able to switch between Batman and Robin in a combat scenario or Batman and Nightwing in a Predator scenario or Batman and Catwoman in either and so on and so forth. The only thing I want to learn about this is what the AI will play like when you're not playing as them. So how will Robin play if you're playing as Batman? How will Batman play if you're playing as Robin? And vice versa and all that stuff, you know? Uh, with Nightwing and Cat Catwoman, of course. I'm just wondering how the AI is going to be. If it's any anything similar to how Jim Gordon was in uh, Batman Arkham Origins, then I'm totally fine with it because uh, his AI in Batman Arkham Origins wasn't too bad at all. You know, he was helping you out, wasn't getting in your way, and it was, you know, seamless. It just seemed fine, you know? It didn't seem like there was any issues going on. So if it's anything like that or even improved beyond that, then I'm super excited. I just can't wait to see what dual play is going to be like in action when I have my hands on the controller playing the game. The rest of this trailer just kind of going over some really badass dual takedowns with all the characters. Then we get a shot of the Batwing, and here's what I'm saying before is uh, that gadget being dropped off to Batman. More dual takedowns, more dual takedowns, and then a single takedown by the Arkham Knight. And here, we finally get to see Azrael, and he's talking about the prophecy and how it's come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. How the hell are Batman, Robin, Nightwing, and Catwoman gonna stop all of this? Like... They're proving and showing that the Arkham Knight is the force to be reckoned with. Look at that army. And he's controlling all of it. It's in the palm of his hands. What a badass. What an incredible shot. And we get some nice looks at the Predator combat through dual play. It looks great. That seems to be a new enemy there because it anticipates Batman Predator attack. Great shot of all three there. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, let's see if we can get that shot again. Oh my god. Look at that. Nightwing's design has to be my favorite in the game so far. I The design looks frigging perfect. Robin's design is a close second, but oh my goodness. That design looks perfect. And that brings us to the end of the trailer. So let me know what you guys thought of my breakdown, as well as what you guys thought of the All Who Follow You trailer in the comment section below. I'm Caboose XBL. Please follow me on Instagram.